Right now, live at five, our top stories. A few steps back today for Indy's reopening plan. Bars closing, many businesses being told to restrict capacity once again. All this in response to climbing cases all around the state. Fox 59's Russ McQuay joins us live tonight with details. The Marion County Public Health Department is watching the same numbers we all are. The daily positivity rate for coronavirus testing. What those numbers show is in Indianapolis, the virus is bouncing back. After bottoming out just about a month ago, Marion County's daily positivity rate over a rolling 14 day period is back up to about 10%. Analysts recognize the numbers began to climb after Indianapolis residents, especially those under the age of 40, started going out to dinner and the bars and seeing their friends in public again. A chart shows that more than half of those confirmed coronavirus cases in Marion County are in people less than 40 years old. As a result, starting tomorrow, dine-in restaurants will be restricted to 50% capacity, with bar seating closed and no food served between midnight and 5 a.m. Bars and nightclubs will be closed after midnight tonight. Gyms and fitness centers will dial back to 25% capacity, tourist sites too. Churches can fill their pews to 50% capacity on Sunday. Mayor Hogsett said the rollbacks are necessary. If you are out in a crowded public space without a mask, do better for your city. If your office is running face-to-face -face meetings without masks, do better for your city. If you want our bars and our clubs to return, do better for your city. Now, yesterday, the Indianapolis Motor Speedway announced that it would be holding the Indy 500 at the end of August, but with only one quarter capacity. That is still 60,000 people. Mayor Hogsett and Dr. Kane say they're going to be watching the statistics in the weeks to come to make sure that the number of positive daily returns on coronavirus tests doesn't keep going up at a substantial rate. They do say that IMS has a significant mitigation plan in effect, but all that could change depending on how the virus reacts in the next couple weeks. I'm Rose McQuaid reporting live from downtown. Thank you a lot for us to ingest there. Another major announcement in Mayor Hogsett's press conference, in-person classes for schools cannot return until at least August 5th. The city plans to meet with school leaders soon to discuss this and then give some more specific guidelines that will be released on how to return to school. Several districts have already pushed back their start dates past August 5th. We know Perry Township was scheduled to start July 29th, but they just let us know that they are pushing that date back to the 5th to comply. Now that's because of the mayor's new restrictions. So you can find school plans right now, figure out what should happen for you and your family and your child before they head back to class. That's on Fox59.com. Also, state 